Hi, this is Sarah from Grace Under Pressure blog, uh, www.graceunderpressure.blog, and I'm making this video to um, show um, the method that I use um, for art therapy, how I use art to, um, to help me deal with um, anxiety and um, stress. So I've been doing a version of this since I was a kid. Um, I used to scribble on sheets of paper and then color it in when I got angry. And when my doctor recommended that I try art therapy and handed me a flyer, it was a bit too abstract for me. And I went back to something that I know and that has helped me in the past. I think that this method that I'm using is an improvement on it. And it's really simple enough that a child could do it. Um, so um, the the way that I do it now is the same action of drawing and coloring in minus the angry scribbling. Um, although that's not, that's possible. I could still angrily scribble if I wanted to. Um, and then now I try to do color association and pray over the things that are upsetting me and release them as I'm drawing and coloring. And it actually seems to be really helping me a lot. Um, so um, the things that you need um, for this are just a sheet of paper, a pencil or a pen, and um, some coloring pencils. And I have a whole bunch of coloring pencils and I just pulled out some colors that I wanted to use today, but um, I will, I'll tell you how I pick them in a, in a minute. So the disclaimer here is I am not licensed as an art therapist. There are people that actually go to school to do this. And all I'm doing is saying one method that worked for me, and if it doesn't work for you, or if you find something better, that's fine. I'm just showing you what helped me. Um, so, um, the pencil is for drawing the, the original line, the line drawing, and then the color pencils are going to represent a... Um, are going to represent an anxiety or a fear or something that we that we want that I want to pray for. So, um, so the way that I do it is I'll move these. The way that I do it is I start out just drawing a random squiggly line. I'm having a hard time with my camera bouncing. Sorry about that. So I just start like this, and this is what I used to do as a child. Only as a kid, I was really OCD about making sure that that line matches up with the end of this line. Maybe not quite so OCD about that anymore. Maybe a little bit. So like that. It's not complicated. It took just a few seconds. And um, I like to have large portions and small portions. And it's basically because some things may cause me more anxiety than others. And so like the things that only cause a little bit of anxiety, I might put that color in a little box, a little um, section, like one of those. And something that causes me a whole bunch of anxiety would get like the great big one. Um, so now um, you choose colors that represent the things that you are stressed about or that you need to pray about. Um, so today my drawing is about media. There's been, I've had a lot of stress about, um, about the media, um, about not, not like newspaper media, but about things that are going on online. People are, people in general are really cruel online and it causes me a lot of stress, especially when I have um, people tracking me down on on groups we're part of to cuss me out or spamming my blog for three or four hours because they're mad about something that I said. Um, it, it's just something that causes me a lot of stress. So I went through and uh, gave all of these colors labels. Red is for uh, YouTube and for um, videos and uh, blue is for Facebook. Purple is for WordPress. Um, black was for the hateful things that people say. I wrote it all down so I'd remember. Um, gray is for the anxiety and depression that I experience. Um, after, after there's nasty things online, I do experience a fair amount of anxiety and sometimes I'll even go through depressive episodes over things that people have said and done and it's something I have to really pray through and work through so that I'm, um, not letting that take over and who I am and that I'm letting, um, letting God have control over that because 
the things that I write about are for his glory and if I'm doing it for him then then I don't need to be depressed if people don't take it the right way or if they get upset because it's not ultimately about me it's ultimately about whether or not God is getting glory through what I'm writing okay so the yellow um, is about my determination to be um, sunshine to those around me and to show Jesus to those around me and the gold is how wonderful it is when something that I wrote actually helps someone um, when it um, when it makes a difference in someone's life that's like that's like the moment where everything is worth it all of the other things so that's more like a thanks and um, you know trying to focus on that on being thankful for the results even if there's kind of um, nasty things that go along the way so um, so I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know how long it'll take, I might have to pause the video, but I'm going to go ahead and start working on, be, on coloring this in. And then what I, what I would do is, like this one, blue is for Facebook. So I would start drawing here and thinking about the, pro, the things that have happened on Facebook and how I'm using it as a tool, as a ministry. For the blog and for the Lord and I would um, just pray over the things that have happened that have been negative or stressful and release that to the Lord and I try to let the pain and frustration and anger and stress just kind of come out in the coloring and just let that be an outlet for the frustration that I have over especially how people treat me and it's kind of a big deal honestly so I probably should have a bigger color uh, we'll give this one over here blue too and so it's just intentionally releasing that and saying that, you know, this is all under God's control and it is okay if things don't go my way because ultimately I know that the Lord is in control of everything and I don't have to worry about them because he's in control. And it's just reminding myself of that because sometimes I forget, especially um, when, when I have very physical reactions like upset stomachs and panic attacks and that sort of thing because of how people treat me, then it helps to, um, to just um, remind myself that God is still in control. So there's that. Let's see. The yellow was sunshine, so that should be a big one because that's a huge issue that I want to focus on that everything that I do... I'm sorry if the camera is really shaking because I'm shaking the table with the coloring. Everything I do is to, is to bring glory and honor to God, or at least it should be. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure that not everything I say is always 100% glorifying to God, but I pray over the blog post and I try to make sure that what I'm posting is biblically accurate and helpful and I do the best that I can and I surrender the rest to God and I want to be a shining light for Him. So this is what that color represents. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and finish coloring this in and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back and I finished coloring it. My um, arms started getting tired, so some of them I ended up just scribbling in and kind of doing some hashtags. Um, if your hands get tired, you can just... Um, like just do hashtag marks like this and it still kind of fills in the color. Um, and I forgot to mention that you might end up needing a pencil sharpener. A couple of mine went um, dull. The pencils went dull in the middle of, of drawing and coloring in. Um, so um, I really like how it looks when like the reds aren't next to the reds and none of the colors, none of the same colors are touching. So that's kind of the way that I do it. That's the way I've done it since I was a little kid um, so there's more red in here than there's ever been before because I don't usually make videos and I had a lot of stress leading up to this one trying to figure out how to make it work and all that sort of thing um, and then there's a lot of purple in this one maybe not as much as there should have been um, because I'm having problems with WordPress advertisers right now uh, dropping me um, they are saying I did things that I didn't do and broke contracts with them so that's sort of stressful and I've been working on that um, so you can do this even if you're not religious you can just imagine the anger and frustration going out your fingers into the um, into the paper and that's what I did as a child before I incorporated uh, prayer but it's more like an intentional 
release. And even as a kid, just the action of scribbling, of, of scribbling the colors and filling it in was therapeutic for me. Um, so, um, anyway, so that's what I, that's what I did. When I'm done with it completely, um, I go ahead and, um, sign it and date it. It's the 22nd today. Um, and sometimes I will write what all the colors represent and, the things that I've read online about art therapy says that you're supposed to save them and look back on it later and you can see that sometimes you're not even angry about the same things that you were angry about before that um, over time you've worked through it and it's not a problem anymore. So um, I have been keeping mine and I'll turn it over and write down like what all the colors were on the back. I haven't done that yet. Um, and so this just really seems to help me. It's um, it doesn't hurt my hands unless I do three in the same day like I did today um, and then my wrists start bothering me but like I said you could you can do um, that the shading or hashtagging instead um, so one thing if your child has like dysgraphia or something like that and you would like them to do this a lot of phone apps have a note-taking program that allows you to um, draw so I actually made one of these while I was in the car yesterday and um, I just scribbled on the screen with the little drawing pencil and then um, filled those in with colors and it can work the same way and that way if your child has problems with handwriting and holding pencils or whatever then um, then you can use that method or on a paint program there's just like a click and fill so if if the the scribbling or stain in the lines is frustrating for your child like it would have been for mine when they were in grade school then they can go ahead and just fill it in and if one I still think that the having a color represents something you're frustrated about is the key to it that that's really helped me a lot so anyway this is um Sarah Forbes from Grace Under Pressure uh, www.graceunderpressure.blog and this is a video about um, my version of art therapy which I'm sure is not the right version but if it helps people then I'm happy to have shared it. Bye bye.